Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. We are going to go ahead and do a gameplay review of NFT Draft. If you are a fantasy football fan, this is something that you may want to take a look at. I am a huge fantasy football fan. I love the fact, I just love uh, Americanized football. Um, so I actually did a review on this almost two years ago. Uh, at that time, it was a little, it was a little rough. It was early for this, for the process. Uh, they've gone through a few seasons now. They've actually, I believe, switched ownership and they've done a major update to the overall UI and, and all that, and the way everything interacts together. So I wanted to go ahead and do a full gameplay review of that, kind of compare it to what I saw before. Uh, and then just give you guys an idea of what's going on with this project. And you can see if it's something that you want to go ahead and jump into. Before I really dive into all the details of the project, I have to do the normal disclaimer, full transparency. Uh, first of all, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Please make sure you do your own research before you jump in any project. Don't just take my word for it. Again, remember, I'm a gamer. I'm a fantasy football fan. I am not a financial advisor. So make sure it's right for your situation before you jump into any games themselves. Uh, in addition, uh, again, full transparency, the project team did offer me a few of the packs to go ahead and test this game out. I will be doing a, uh, a giveaway of some of those packs. Uh, if we go ahead and get 20 likes on this video, we're trying something new here. I'm trying to get some engagement, trying to get it higher so, so more people can see the kind of videos and jump into Wax and Web 3.0 games. So go ahead and hit that like button if you like the video. If we get 20, we'll go ahead and do a giveaway for some of the packs in, our, in my Discord, which there will be a link down below. All right, enough of that self-promotion out of the way. Let's actually dive into the game, what you all want to know about since you're watching this. Um, what is NFT Draft? It's essentially bringing fantasy football to the WAX blockchain. Uh, it, it's nice because you get ownership of the cards and the players. Every season they do different packs. Um, and it, you, even though you get, with normal fantasy football, if you pick a player in a draft and that player gets hurt or that player retires or there's an issue with that player, you're done with that player. They've done a, a little bit of an adjustment with the overall format of fantasy football that I think is good. It prevents those injury problems that you may have. And I'll dive into that here in the near future. As I mentioned, they've done several seasons already. They've done two seasons. Each season has had their own pack of cards. Uh, and when they went through the process of going ahead and uh updating it based on the, i guess the new ownership and the new design they noticed that there was a lot of complexity with the old cards so what you may find if you have some of those old cards you you played it maybe a year ago um they they won't show up right away in this new version so there's a little bit of a conversion process that you have to go through which i'll show you here it's very simple once you know about it um so we'll, we'll cover that we'll cover some pack openings uh and then we'll go ahead and dive into the game itself um just it's because of the way fantasy football goes this will actually be a two-part i'll go ahead and show you those items that i just talked about and setting up uh a, a weekend game play i guess you could say and then uh the end of the video will be at the end of the weekend where we actually show the results of how everything went how poorly or positively i've done um, the one thing that you have to keep in mind that this is still preseason for the American Football League. Again, I'm not going to say the name of it. I don't want any copyright uh, issues, uh, but it's still the preseason. At the time of the recording right now, it's 13 days from the regular season. So what we'll be doing is we'll be playing uh, a game that goes against uh, just the preseason, not the actual regular season. So let's go ahead and dive into the game. I'll have a link down in the description to both this website that you're looking here and also their Discord. So go ahead and check them out. Once you go ahead to this page, they have a number of different categories. I'm not going to go through the white paper. I'm not going to go through some of the details on the website. You can in, you can take a look at yourself. The video would just be too long because uh, we do have a lot to go through as far as the in game itself. So let's go ahead and jump in there. You press play, it's gonna take you to this screen and this is the first screen that you're gonna take a look at here. At the top, you're gonna to see the normal menu. You have inventory, you have the tournaments, the leaderboard, events, uh, they have events throughout the season. They actually have a, a thing that where you can go ahead and win. Uh, uh, again, I don't wanna say it uh, for copyright restrictions, the bowl that starts, that's, that's extremely exciting. Like someone might call it super. 
Um, that's the best way I can describe it without a copyright issue, so I apologize. Uh, but you have a chance to go ahead and win tickets to that. Uh, if you do well enough throughout the season and, and you enter that competition, they have a marketplace, and then you can go ahead and grab packs. Uh, like I mentioned, they do have some packs that are available right now. Again, not financial advice. A starter pack, which comes with a total of uh, 10, 10 players. You have draft pack, which is 20 players, and captain pack, which is 120 players. If you've compared these prices to earlier seasons, these are actually cheaper than they used to be, uh, which is nice to see. And I, I know they're balancing with the the actual market themselves because I think I think like a hundred or two hundred pack previously was about two hundred and fifty dollars. I can't remember the exact amount, so they've actually reduced the price on it. Um, here is the the advertisement that I'll show you. Probably saw in some of the different areas. You can win some tickets, uh, but let's go ahead and let's talk about. Uh, the first thing that you're going to need is you're going to need players. So if you have cards from previous seasons, you're going to have to go through the conversion process, which we'll talk about right now. If you have those cards and you go ahead and click on inventory, you probably will not see any cards listed right here. I've done the conversion process on a lot of the cards already. Uh, so that's why you see a bunch here. But in order to get to the conversion process, you're going to go to the pull down for all cards, go to in wallet on staked, and then you're going to go to the template and you're going to see two different types of templates. The new template, that's the season three. That's if you open a brand new pack from this season, you'll see it there. Or, But if you have uh, packs or cards from season one or season two, you're going to have to go over to the old template. So you're going to see those. And the nice thing is uh, every, sing every single season, they actually give you a different style of cards. Uh, for example, this is what the original cards look like. This was season one. Uh, very kind of generic. Um, then they started getting a little more realistic in season two. And then the, this new season, we're going to go ahead and open some packs. And they, they have more of a bobblehead look to them. So it's, it's, it's interesting how they keep going through. Um, but in order to convert your old cards, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and uh, you can do it two ways. You can do it individually or you can do it in bulk. To do it individually, you go ahead and click on this. It's going to ask you how many of these you want to convert. If you have multiple of the same ones, you can go ahead and select the pull-down menu. But it also gives you the, the little safe uh, thing. If you have a, a mint one, two, or three, and you want to hold on to those, you can check that box. I, I don't really care about that when it comes to this. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click on convert. It's going to ask you to do your normal authentication. You hit approve, and then you go ahead and you get the successful out there. You can go through that individually, depending on how many cards you have, or you can go ahead and do the bulk uh, bulk amount, um, which in order to do the bulk amount, you have to make sure you have it selected on a certain season and it can do a max of 20 at a time. So if you have a hundred of the cards, you're gonna have to go through the process five times. You have to refresh, do all that because it's web based, but all you have to do is go ahead and click on convert. It's going to go ahead and say, ask you if you want to approve, and then you'll get the success. Uh, it does take a little while. Again, it's a web based item or web based project. Uh, so it doesn't refresh right away. What I've been doing is I've been going ahead and switching between the seasons, and that kind of gives you that little bit of a buffer. So we'll go through these other others pretty quickly here, and that's how you convert your old cards uh, over to the new new format, the no, new system that they have, which is a lot cleaner. That's the reason why they converted to the new project and all that. So we have 20 left to do. Uh, you're also going to see with the cards, there's different rarities. Uh, the different rarities give you a bonus while you're actually playing it. Uh, these are the, the common, the lowest. Uh, then you have the standout, which is the next level up. Then you get a purple one, which I don't think I have any with the cards I need to convert. Uh, and then it keeps going up all the way to the gold foil ones, which are the top of, top of the list, which I, I do not have any of those. Uh, but hopefully, when we do pack openings here in a second, we'll be lucky enough to get one. So let's cross our fingers on that. So we've gone ahead and we've actually converted, I'm just going to, again, we're, uh, we've converted all of the cards over to the new format. This, this will update here in a minute. Um, so that's all you have to do. Now I have all the cards in the new format. Um, so if I wanted to go ahead and play, I could. Uh, but before that, I do want to show you the season three templates. We're going to go ahead and open uh, a few packs. We'll hold on to a few packs. Again, 20 likes on this video, and we'll go ahead and give a, a number of packs away. Uh, to show you the packs that I have, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the packs. It shows you the ones that we have. Uh, what I'll do is I'm going to hold on to these uh, these top five. Again, get 20. If we get 20 likes, we'll go ahead and give away these five top packs. 
Uh, but I wanted to show you some of the, actually, we'll, we'll do some more. We'll give you some of these other promo packs away too. Um, the only two packs I'm gonna go ahead and open is probably uh, the starter pack, the, the draft pack, and then one of these promo packs. We'll save the rest of them for a giveaway. Uh, so what I'm going to go ahead and do, uh, these are some of the packs that you can go ahead and get, as I mentioned before, uh, let's actually go, sorry, I'm jumping around here a little bit. Like I said, they have three types of packs. The starter pack comes with 10 common cards. The draft pack gives you a little bit of a bonus, gives you one standout, which is the next rarity. It's like an uncommon. Uh, if you go for the captain pack, then you all goes all the way up to a, a team captain. Um, so let's go ahead back here. Uh, we'll start with, again, we'll start with the lowest pack. We'll, we'll do a, a promo pack, uh, and then we'll do these two, and again, save save the rest of them for a giveaway. So you go ahead, and it does this nice little uh, animation out there, and it shows you the cards you got. So I actually, <laughs> right away, uh, for those of you that are familiar with American Football League, um, I ended up getting uh, the Kansas City Chiefs' uh, number one quarterback, and we'll talk about the format here in a second. If you're familiar at all with uh, American football, uh, Patrick Mahomes, uh, that is a legit, uh, oh, it actually didn't. Never mind. They, what they showed before. <laughs> Never mind. Um, so I apologize. I actually, uh, thought the cards that popped up there, uh, uh, were what you actually got. So I did not get, uh, Mahomes. I actually got, uh, Houston's quarterback. I got, uh, Houston's number one wide receiver and Arizona's number four wide receiver. So not as good as I had, I, I thought I would love to get a Patrick Mahomes, uh, but we didn't get it. That's fine. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and open the starter pack um, and we'll click approve and we'll go ahead through the animation again. It's going to pop up. Whatever it shows here is not what you got. See, uh, I got showing here. Let's go ahead and see. Give it a second for them to come up uh, after the animation. See what we actually got. Again, this is 10 common cards that you get in this pack. Um, so let's go ahead and click the checkbox so I don't have to do that again. Hopefully, come on, man. There we go. Uh, and this shows you what I actually got. So what I ended up getting in this pack pool, I got Chicago's number one running back, tight end number two from Cleveland. Uh, I got the, uh, the uh, Chargers defense and kicker. It may be a little hard to see on yours. I got Las Vegas's defense. Oh, uh, New York Blue. Oh, that's uh, Daniel Jones. I got the Giants. QB, I was hoping it was Aaron Rodgers. Um, and then we'll go ahead. I got Philly's third running back, Atlanta's second running back, Arizona's quarterback. So that's not too bad uh, if he actually plays. Um, so not a bad pack, not a bad pack, but you do see the the difference uh, in the, the look of the cards compared to the other ones. It's more of a bobblehead, bigger heads. This is the pack I'm excited to open. This is the draft pack. Give me 20 cards. Um, and it gives me definitely one standout, which will be again, the uncommon level. So let's go ahead and open that up. Hopefully we get something good with this while we're opening this up. I'll go ahead and explain what it means by you saw someone was a wide receiver one wide receiver two. That essentially means whoever the top wide receiver is on that team is who your card is. So, and we'll, we'll talk about that a little bit more when we actually set up one of the, 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 the tournaments for the competitions. So let's go ahead and approve this and see what cards we got. There's hopefully we got something really good. Hopefully my standout is something awesome. Uh, it's actually the, uh, I'll take that. I'll take that uh, standout that we got here. Um, this is the number one running back for the San Francisco 49ers, Christian McCaffrey, uh, who is probably going to be one of the better running backs this season. So I am very happy with that one. Uh, we got the number three wide receiver for the Steelers. Uh, we've got the number five wide receiver for the Eagles. Probably won't use that very often. Uh, we got Ravens, number one running back. Uh, we did Kansas City's number one running back, just sliding through here. Buffalo, we got Diggs uh, from Buffalo. Um, so we'll just slide through, see if anything else jumps out here as uh, a top uh, pick. We got uh, Minnesota's quarterback. Um, just quickly sliding through. Um, not too bad. We also got another. Um, uh another uh higher tier card uh but this is the one i'm super excited about uh that is an awesome card i am super excited about that one let's go ahead and just show you that uh the cards let's go ahead and jump over here this is it right here 
Uh, so it is actually a team captain. So I actually got pretty lucky with that pack pull. You're only guaranteed a standout, which is uncommon. This is like the next level up. Uh, you can consider either a, a an epic or a rare. I'm, I'm not sure exactly on the scale for them. Uh, but that is a huge grab for me. So I'm excited by that one. We'll definitely be using that a lot throughout the season. And you can see the rest of the cards. They kind of look, their heads are a lot bigger. They're bobbling around. There's a little bit of an animation there. Um, so now that we have the cards, again, go ahead and like the, like the video below and I'll do a bunch of giveaways. You saw how many packs I have to go ahead and give away. So we'll do that. Um, let's go ahead and actually talk about the game itself. Now that we know the cards, now we know the players, let's jump back over to the main menu uh, where join tournaments. And you can see that each of these tournaments are sponsored by different projects and they're going to run all the way through and you have the option as you're playing you can either do some of them have a free option and some of them have a paid entry option so you can go ahead and with the free option you can play up to 50 entries within this tournament so if you have enough cards you can go ahead and play as many times up to 50 times uh, if you do the paid i believe the prize pool is a little bit higher but you also get unlimited uh entries for the paid um, so you can go ahead and do that all depending on how many cards you have. Once you enter a set of cards, uh, those cards are no longer usable. You cannot use them in any of the other tournaments. So they will be used at that point in time. You can see how many players are already entered. You can see how many of your teams are entered. Uh, you can see the prize pool, which is close to 4,000 wax. Uh, again, the entries, and you can go through the live scores, which is a big boost, big bonus. When I did the, the, the review on this, uh, I guess two years ago, almost two years ago, uh, the live scores was not available. You had to almost wait until the week was over to really see how you did. So that is a huge, a huge uh, boost or a feature, we'll say. Uh, if, if you play fantasy football at all, you, you know you want to watch as you're going through the, the season itself. Um, you can see there are a few other leagues uh, or tournaments uh, that are sponsored. Usually as you continue to go through the season, there will be more. There will be weekly challenges and things like that. So what we'll, what we'll do we'll go we'll go ahead and do uh, the Wolf Punks. Uh, it's got a hundred entries, a little bit less. Eh, maybe maybe we'll actually go ahead top. We'll do a free one here in the top uh, for the casino. I don't usually like to emphasize casinos, but just it falls in here. <laughs> so you go ahead and click on join, and you're going to see there are certain rules uh, as far as how many cards from each season that you can go ahead and do. Um, how many uh, they suggest. So if you look at the top here, you're gonna have a total of 10 cards uh, and they're gonna go ahead and you have a certain price range uh, or value range. As we, as we go ahead and select the cards, uh, you're gonna go ahead and see that each of them is valued. Uh, team one or tier one players are highly valued, tier two are a little less valued. So what you're gonna essentially get is the top players are gonna have higher value, but they're also gonna have a, a higher cost. That's when wide receiver twos and threes come into play uh, and things like that. So that's why they do have the different tiers of players in here. You can have a maximum of two defenses and kickers. Uh, you can go ahead. The free entries, you need to use at least three season threes uh, and then two quarterbacks, a maximum of two quarterbacks, but you need at least one quarterback in there. Each tournament, each league may be just a little bit different when it comes to that. Uh, so let's go ahead. We're going to do the free entry just to show you the free to uh, kind of free to play. Uh, once you have the cards, if you go ahead and win all my uh, giveaways, you'll, you'll have enough to play. So let's go ahead and select a quarterback, see what my options are. You can see I have Chicago's quarterback. And actually, the nice thing that that's, this is another feature that they've added. This was not available before. Uh, when you're going to select your character, if you, you go ahead and scroll over the different ones, you'll actually see who the player is. Uh, that you're selecting, uh, which is neat to see. Um, you can see all that. So you, you actually know prior to selecting them. Uh, I'm just scrolling through here. Uh, and so let's just go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and grab Justin Fields as a quarterback. I think he's going to have a good year rushing. Maybe not so much passing, but we'll see. Uh, then my defensive kicker, uh, we'll go ahead and check those out. So you can go ahead and that's not going to change week to week. You're just going to select one of the your favorite defenses. You can go ahead through here and do the highest projected value. You can go ahead and select the team by team or by positions. The positions will become more into play uh, when we get to the next ones. Uh, but we'll go ahead. I'm surprised by some of these. Um, you can do defensive kicker. 
Um, that's another thing that you have to understand is some of the cards are straight defense. Like this is just the defense. Uh, and then some of the cards are going to be the defense and the kicker. So you're going to get extra points for the kicker themselves. Um, and if you go ahead and put your, your, your uh, mouse over them, it's going to show you uh, their projected score that they're going to get. So if we keep scrolling down, some of these are the Buffalo's not going to do very well. So we'll just go ahead and uh, put Vegas in there. Uh, and then we, for these next ones, you can essentially select whatever you want. You can see up here as I'm selecting them, it's checking the boxes off. All right, so we're going to go ahead and pick a few of them. I'm going to go ahead and fulfill my season three requirement. Um, so we are going to go ahead and uh, let's look. We'll do both. That's interesting. Maybe because they're not playing in this preseason coming up here. So we'll go back to the highest value. Um, to Washington's quarterback. Uh, sure. We'll give him a try. Again, this is just for example purposes. Uh, we'll go ahead and do... I just. Oh, that's right, because they are, uh, we're in preseason. I forgot there for a second. That's why some of the players that I would have thought would be good, like Debo. Actually, that's interesting. Debo is, ah, this whole time I've been thinking this is the running back, not the wide receiver. So ignore a lot of the stuff I was saying earlier. That's Christian McCaffrey. It's actually Debo, which is still good. But just to go along with that, uh, it's preseason, so Debo's not going to play this, this, this week. That's why he's valued at zero so we're going to go ahead in here most likely the the um fourth string and fifth string are going to be the ones that have the higher points so it may or may not make sense for uh, a lot of the games in the preseason that's why i want to go ahead and do it for um just for the the example purposes so we're going to go ahead in here and just click on a bunch of these just to show you I do want to fulfill this requirement as far as the season three. I need one more to go ahead and fill that. Um, just scrolling through here. We need some, there we go. Chicago's running. That doesn't make sense. Let's try that again. He's value six, but I need to fill that requirement. So we are going to go ahead and click on you. Uh, so now I have the requirement for this three um, and I, I just need to work on the cost now. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll just grab all the highest values here just to try and get some points here and there uh and there we go we filled we filled my roster um and we are good to go i'm in the point range the cost range i have a total of 10 cards i have a maximum of two kickers and defenders i have at least three season three cards and i have a max of two quarterbacks so i can go ahead and there's a pull down menu here for the tournaments i'm going to go ahead and hit submit Oh, I got to have my name uh, for the video. We'll just call it the video team. <laughs> All right. So we have it in there. Let's go ahead and hit submit. Are you sure? It's a free entry. Confirm. Um, and then hit approve. Again, hit approve again. And it's going to say my team is created. It is successfully joined the league. And we are good to go. Let's just... And there we go. It takes me back. It takes me back to the main menu. You're going to go ahead and see that I have one team in there now. It is a free entry. Uh, you can go ahead and see your, let's click on live scores. Um, it does show you the, the who's doing the best so far uh, in the tournament. There's a total of 122 pay positions, which is great to see. Uh, it is round three right now. So there's 11 uh, hours left. So you can go ahead and do your updates. I am obviously not doing well in this week because um, uh, as far as the dates go, we actually had two games last night, so I missed those two games. So so I'm already a little bit behind on that, but that's it. That's okay. Uh, that's fine as far as uh, it goes. You can go ahead and view your teams by selecting on tournaments and view your teams. Uh, and you can see this is the video one, uh, and you can go ahead and click on it and go through those details. Again, remember when I'm recording this video, it is preseason. Uh, the starters are not playing because it's the last week of preseason. Once we get to the regular season, the, the players that we saw there on the list um, were, uh, they'll, they'll be a lot different as far as what you can select because the starters are going to play depending on injuries. So keep that in mind when you're playing. Um, what do I think about this? Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and finish this video here. 
uh, in, I guess, a few days from now, because again, I'm recording this on Friday morning. The games go all the way through Saturday. Uh, so on probably next Monday, I'll go ahead and finish the recording with my results and show you that. Uh, but before I do that, let me go ahead and give you at least my viewpoint on some of the items. Uh, comparing this to two years ago, night and day, it's that simple. It's a lot easier of a format to go ahead and pick your teams. There's some features that I really like, the live scoring. The, you can actually see who the player is that you're selecting other than just seeing it here. Um, it's just a whole lot easier to go through the process in selecting your characters. The drop down menus are better. Um, I, I wish there are more tournaments. Uh, I'm thinking when the season actually starts, there's going to be uh, some more individual week uh, items that are out there. And go ahead and select on events. You're going to go ahead and see there's certain milestones for different rewards. And as I mentioned, you can go ahead and enter uh, to win certain tickets. Uh, so there, there's going to be a lot more that is going to be coming here. Uh, I think once the season actually gets rolling. Uh, but let's go ahead and check back here in a few days. For you, it's going to be a few seconds. For me, it's going to be a few days. So I'll be right back. All right, we are back. It's a few days later. Uh, I did record this, uh, at least the main part that you just saw a few days ago. Uh, there's actually one more game left to play this weekend, but I wanted to go ahead and finish up this recording. One, because I don't have a shot at the prize. Uh, two, I, I wanted to get this all wrapped up, edited, so I can get it out on uh, Monday or Tuesday, depending on how all the editing takes. Um, so the couple things. Um, before we take a look at the results and, and show you how to access the results, Again, this was a preseason game. Uh, I went in there late uh, when I did the recording on Friday. It was actually late, so uh, I missed a number of the games, so I missed a number of the rewards. Uh, and again, preseason, you play, it It really, you, they don't play starters in the last preseason game. Well, few, very few teams play starters in the last, last game. Uh, so it was a little bit of a challenge to find players that worked out. So just a reminder before you take a look at the results. Uh, some people did really well with this. Uh, I unfortunately did not. So how you go ahead and access your uh, results and check it out. What you can do is you go back to the main page, which is the tournaments page. And you're going to go and select uh, the tournament that you went into. As you remember, we did this one, which was the free one. Uh, so all you have to do is click on live scores. And it's going to show you the rankings and it's up to date. You can see when it last updated. Like I said, this uh, there's some games yesterday. There's still one more game that's going to happen tonight. Um, so, But they last updated about 13 hours ago as far as the scores go. Uh, but the number one player is going to get over 2,000 wax and rewards. Uh, it does drop drastically after that. For example, number two gets 265. And these are all uh, expected, quote unquote, estimated payouts. Uh, they'll only be finalized once the actual weekend is over. Uh, so if you go ahead and you can scroll down, you can see a number of uh, different rewards. Once you get out of the top 10, you start getting like the 28 wax, which is still still isn't bad. You're still getting some wax out of it. Uh, if you're very competitive with fantasy football, um, I did not get in within that range. Um, uh, but I, at least I am in the top 50 <laughs> again, uh, uh, trying to understand it's a preseason. So I keep giving that caveat out there, not for you, more for me to kind of, uh, how bad I did. <laughs> so the one thing I wish they would change, and maybe I'm just missing it. Uh, I wish they had a search, either a search part here, a button here, or a button that goes automatically goes down to your personal wallet. Uh, in order for me to find my wallet, I had to go and do control F, uh, which brought it up here. And I typed in my, my, uh, wax wallet. You see, it comes up twice for here. And also if I go click on down, uh, it's going to go all the way down to here. I got 425th place out of well over 800 players. Uh, I only had a score of 38. And if you go ahead and click on, uh, your team, you can go ahead and see this is this is really why I did so bad. I had one player, which with my Las Vegas defense did rather well, but I had a number of players that got zero points. Um, either they didn't play or uh, it, it's preseason that maybe they only played a few minutes. Um, so that, that's why I didn't do super well. I, I also didn't do a lot of research into who was playing this this week, uh, but you can go ahead and see that. Um, it, like I said, you can scroll over. Uh, the individual players and see what you actually got. For example, for the defense for Vegas, I got 14 points, which you can see at the bottom. If I scroll over, I was projected 17 points. 
Uh, and, and same with uh, DJ here, DJ Dallas, who's projected 16 points, but only got 5.33. 5, 5. So that's how it kind of works. Um, it, you're playing fantasy football, you're playing on a weekly basis, uh, and it's you, you have a chance to go ahead. If you, you are the number one team, you can go ahead and get some really good rewards, 2,000 plus wax, uh, which is a fantastic one. They obviously scored uh, quite a bit of points for preseason. So you're gonna, it's going to be rather competitive as we go into the season itself. Um, what are some of the things that I would change or, or what's my feedback? What are my thoughts? Um, I th Compared to two years ago when I did the review, they've upgraded it considerably. There's more tournaments. Uh, it's a lot easier to jump around in the different areas. Uh, the, just the overall look of it's different. There's more players, which is really nice to see. Um, some of the things that I would change, I, I already mentioned one of them in the, the, the live score section, either have a button where you can click on, it goes right to your wallet or have a little search, uh, bar in here that you can go ahead and type in your wallet and, and it goes to whatever, and you can search other people's wallets other than just clicking on control F, which is a backup. It's, it's, it's a workaround for now. Um, some of the other things, uh, and, and this may just because it's preseason, uh, more tournaments, uh, or more individual games. I, I know they're really dependent on sponsorships, uh, to really get these, these games out there. Um, so I, I expect during the regular season that there will be more sponsorships and more tournaments that are available. Uh, so I'm curious to see how that's going to work all compared to past seasons. Uh, so overall, I, I, I like the game. I will be playing this season. Uh, so keep an eye out for my wallet. Uh, hopefully I do much better than uh, this preseason game. Uh, but you can see that the season starts in 11 days from the time of this recording. Probably by the time you're watching it, it'll be closer to 9 or 10 days, uh, depending on when I release this and when you watch it. Uh, but overall, I, I liked it. Um, I, 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 if you're a fantasy football fan or an American football fan, uh, it's definitely something that you want to go ahead and check out. Uh, make sure you make your own decision, do your own research, all that fun stuff. Uh, but go ahead and check it out. Take a look at it. Again, if you are watching this uh, and you and we get 20 likes on this video, I'm going to go ahead and give a ton of packs away. Uh, just a quick reminder on the packs that I have. I have not opened any additional ones. I have a whole bunch of packs here to give away. Uh, so we'll give a bunch of them away if we get to 20 likes of the video. And I apologize again uh, for the misstatement when I thought this was uh, the San Francisco number one running back uh, and I misread and said it's the number one wide receiver, uh, which I'm still fine with Debo. Debo's good, um, but I'd rather have McCaffrey. Uh, but I'm, I'm still happy with the card itself. Um, so I, let me know down in the comments below. What are your thoughts? Are you a fantasy football fan? Fan, if you're American football fan itself, What's your team? My personal favorite team is the Steelers. Uh, I just always have liked them, grown up with them. Uh, what's your team? Uh, and I hope you all have a great day. I'll talk to you later.